So good morning one and all. So this is John Basha working as an associate professor and head of the department in IIT in Lakshya Institute of Technology and Sciences. And uh, today I am giving a small topic on the construction of the past trees. In especially the past tree is one of the very, very important tree in compilers. Here, before going to the construction of the past tree, what is meant by the tree and uh, what is meant by the past tree and how to construct uh, the past tree. Here, what is the tree? Tree is uh, generally the tree is taken as uh, the tree is a, a state which is, which is having the two states. That is, the, it contains the two chains, the left chain and the right chain. But whenever we want to discuss about the past trees, the tree is defined in a graphical manner. In the, the tree is defined as, the, in the graphical manner, it is a finite set of nodes. Here, these are the number of nodes, x, y, z, these are the finite set of nodes. And especially here, among these nodes, one special node is taken as the root node and uh, the remaining nodes are taken as the interior nodes and the chain nodes. And that is the definition of the tree. And coming to the past tree, the past tree is a graphical presentation of a derivation. Here, the past tree which is used to represent the syntactic structure of a string for some grammar. For example, we want to construct a past tree for any grammar so the past tree represents the syntactic structure of the string and that is in the form of, for example, taken. So this is a grammar, consider this is a grammar and for that grammar we are constructing so a past tree like this. So as produce x, as produce, this is the just the representation of the past tree. And here, what is the derivation? So whenever we want to construct a past tree, we must use the term the derivation. The derivation is a sequence of applications of productions of the grammar and without a derivation we can't derive the parse tree. That's why we must use the derivation. So here what is meant by the derivation? The derivation is a sequence of applications of productions of the grammar. Here for example taken A to A produce B is a production. Here whenever we add alpha is a an item or an extra node and whenever which is added on both the sides of A and B then so this is converted into alpha A produce alpha B and this one is the derivation. The first one is the production A to B is the production and whenever we add something to on both sides of the production we get the derivation and this one is the derivation. And here we and in the derivation we have the word the grammar and uh, the grammar is a set of rules and regulations that govern a language. That is uh, the definition of the grammar. Here, especially in compilers, the grammar is uh, represented in terms of uh, four terms. One is called as the N, second one is the T, third one is the P, and uh, fourth one is the S. Yes. And here, N is the non-terminal, and P is the T is the terminal, and P is the productions, and uh, S is the start symbol. And always the non-terminals which are represented with the capital letters of the alphabets that is capital A to capital Z. And coming to the terminals, the terminals always which are represented in the form of the small letters that is small A to small Z. And coming to the productions, the productions are the combination of both terminals and non-terminals. And whenever we want to write a production, so that production sometimes contains all the terminals or sometimes contains all the non-terminals, sometimes contains both uh, terminals and uh, non-terminals. And uh, without production, there is no grammar. And uh, the final one is the start symbol. S is the start symbol. Here, each and every grammar that must be start with the start symbol. And uh, that is uh, that start symbol is this one. For example, this is the production. A produced the B is the production. Here, A is the start symbol of this production. So here, this A is taken as a start symbol. For example, here, I want to construct a parse tree. Whenever I want to construct a parse tree, first I have to take a derivation. And uh, the derivation is of uh, two types. The derivation, the derivation plays an important role in the design of the parse trees, especially in compilers. 
depending on the replacement of the non-terminal, the, de the derivation is of two types. One is called as the leftmost derivation and another one is called as the rightmost derivation. For example, consider this is the grammar and uh, these are the S produce A, B, A, A produce A, B produce B, these are the three productions. And uh, in this grammar, whatever we have the capital letters, these are taken as the non-terminals and whatever we have the small letters, these are taken as the terminals and uh, the S is the start symbol and uh, the, these three are the number of productions. For example, I want to construct a, a string for this grammar and uh, here this string is taken as ABA. I want to construct ABA is the string from this grammar. So we can construct this string in one of two ways with the help of the different types of the derivation. The first one is the leftmost derivation. So first, whatever we have the starting production in the grammar, first we have to take that one. So as produce ABA is the first production of the grammar. And in the leftmost derivation, so at the RHS side, whatever we have the first non-terminal, that is replaced first. And here as produce ABA, so this is the starting production. In this starting production, is the first leftmost uh, non-terminal and that is replaced first. And uh, then we go for the second step. In the second step, the second uh, from B and A, so B is the leftmost non-terminal and uh, that is taken second. And that this capital B is replaced with B. And uh, the third one is the A and this is replaced with A. So this is called as uh, the leftmost derivation. So for this leftmost derivation, whatever we replaced the productions for each and every non-terminal and uh, according to that one, we have to construct uh, a parse tree. So first step, S produce A, B, A and in the second step, so here the capital A, the first capital A is replaced with a small letter and uh, here, so the capital A is replaced with the A. And in the second one, in the third step and uh, for the third step, the parse tree is like this. And for the fourth step, the parse tree is taken as S produce and here we are replacing. And finally, we get the string A, B, A. And here, this is the leftmost derivation of the parse tree for the given grammar. And coming to the rightmost derivation, and here also the same, and this is same as the leftmost derivation. But instead of replacing a leftmost non-terminal at the right side of the given production, simply we substitute the rightmost uh, non-terminal. And here A, B, A, A, B, A, and here the rightmost non-terminal is the A, and first uh, this capital A is replaced with a small a. And uh, in the second step, and uh, the next one, so A and B, here B is the rightmost non-terminal and uh, first that is replaced with a small b and uh, in the last step, so this A is replaced with A and according to these productions, according to the substitution of each and every terminal by a non-terminal, here we construct uh, a parse tree and finally we get uh, two parse trees. So one parse tree with the help of the leftmost derivation and uh, the second parse tree, so which is constructed with the help of uh, the rightmost derivation. Here the string is ABA and uh, this one is the grammar. Thank you.